Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medikwall plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I just wanted to do a little demo um, explaining how to do complex gable roofs and gable roofs with the complex roof tool. So I've gone ahead and created these two little outlines or faces just to demonstrate that. Um, so all I'm going to do is jump in here to the complex roof tool. I'm going to make sure that's set to primitive for now. And then just mouse over these faces, create that one. Let's go ahead and create the next one. And this is just a rectangle, of course. All right, so we've got ourselves two complex roofs. And you can see all the way around, they are hip roofs. And so that is default behavior. Um, basically, the plugin has no way of knowing initially you know, which roof planes you want to be gable or half hip or Dutch gable or terminal. So it just will go ahead and set the whole thing to hip. All right, so to go ahead and change this up, all we do is click the Edit Roof Plane tool. Notice how it hides um, the primitive geometry. And if you actually have you know, all the framing and sheathing and cladding, it will hide that as well. It will turn those layers off. But note that you do need to have the layers option turned on in the global settings for it to be able to do that. Otherwise, it can't turn those layers off for you automatically. All right, so we'll go ahead and start on this um, roof plane right here. And notice it turns it all back on as soon as you select it. And you have options here for gable, half hip, Dutch gable, or terminal. We're just going to do gable today to demonstrate that. But you can alternatively use all these other options. And go ahead back in here. Select this roof plane, click gable, and you know you have all these settings you can set independently for each gable end. Uh, but I'm not going to mess with that right now, just showing you the default behavior. And, and as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just need to mouse over the uh, roof plane or edge that represents that roof plane, and then you can uh, adjust it accordingly. I'll we'll go ahead and wrap up this last one just to show you guys on this roof. Okay, and there we go. So now we have a complex gable roof. All of the um, ends that can be gables are have been turned into gable ends. All right, so let's look at this other more simple example. Um, it's just, this is just a simple gable roof, or will be, once we get done with it. So we'll change this end to gable. And let's go ahead and change up that next end right there. Okay. And there you have it. All right, and then just to kind of finalize things, let's go ahead and um, change this to turn the full framing all back on. I'm just going to hit update on that and give it just a few minutes. It has to take its time. And let's go ahead and do the same thing here. All right. So um, you can see that uh, it's fairly simple to create gable roofs with the complex roof tool. Let's turn ahead and turn off that cladding and that sheathing on both of these. If I can find the sheathing here. Uh, roof cladding. All right, let's turn off the hidden layer as well, just so we can see everything, and we'll turn off the outline. Okay. So there we have the roof, both roofs, um, showing all the rafters. You can see how the gable ends work. So I think it's fairly straightforward. But again, I think the thing you need to be aware of is that... Um, the, <clears throat> the gable option is usually only available if these outlines form 90 degree angles. So you just need to be aware of that. Um, if it's not a 90 degree angle, uh, orthogonal is the better word, then it will refuse to try to turn uh, this roof plane or this roof plane into a gable end. So just something to be aware of. All right, well, if you have any questions on this, uh, give me a holler. Um, but uh, again, thank you everyone for your continued support, and we'll talk to you guys later.